Well, camping season never st stops, but today we're bit back at it, getting the season started early this year. Uh, figured I'd finally get out and make some videos. We sold the camper um, during COVID. Still getting out, um, back to my roots. Got the car and the tent set up out here with my beautiful wife. Uh, Morgan Monroe State Forestry. We're gonna get some video in the morning. It's a little late now. We got a late start today, so just getting a little bit of video put together showing you around our campsite. This is site four in the overflow camping. I've camped here off and on most of my life and this is one of my favorite spots because it's just back with nothing. Not too far from the restrooms other than a dumpster. Not a bad spot. Um, we'll get some videos of some of the campsites here tomorrow. Um, probably a little cooking in and uh, give you a tour of our little campsite. And, Got some new tents coming. Got beautiful wife over there uh, getting stuff set up in her personal tent. And uh, just gonna enjoy our night. Uh, roast some hot dogs, cook some s'mores maybe. Sit around and enjoy the peace and quiet. We are the only ones back here today. Just how I like it. So, see you in a little bit. We'll come back. Well, good morning everybody. We survived, wasn't even that terribly cold. Sleeping bags did a good job. The air mattress not so much so ended up on the ground I knew better but coming back out here to Morgan Monroe forestry hair looks crazy but good night's sleep starting out where you always start out your mornings at the bathrooms but anyway thought I'd open the door these are new out here um, nice they're lighted they got lights in them at night uh, clean nice little pit toilets uh, beats the old uh, the old ones that have been out here for as long as I can remember you can see back here behind me <clears throat> still too early to have water on but if you've never camped out here this is the overflow campground um, it's nice one of my favorite places to camp I've camped out here since I was a little kid so been out here countless times um, never seen many videos done out here so thought I'd come out here and show it off just a little bit uh, we got camp going over here said had a good night's sleep G uh, getting ready to start up some breakfast uh, our chickens at home did good work so we got some fresh eggs and bacon for breakfast and got the coffee brewing already so we're going to uh, make some breakfast here in a bit so probably start breaking down camp here in a little bit and uh, drive around show you the campgrounds here uh, both the overflow and the, the regular family campgrounds. <clears throat> but hope you get out and uh, enjoy yourself and enjoy the weather's getting warm. It is camping season, so I am ready to get started. We got some new stuff coming. Um, getting ready to pick up a new tent. I think I am going to go with a Gazelle T4 um, pop tent for myself. Going to start trying to get up more videos this season. Um, COVID slowed down a little bit, so get out and enjoy yourselves and get camping again. I've missed it, so um, see you here in a bit. Uh, probably film some breakfast to show you what we're having. And uh, fire's going. It's about 40 degrees. It's good morning. Coffee's brewing almost ready. Time for some breakfast. Got the age-old Coleman stove out. By the way, best like $4 I ever spent. Got it at our local Rule King, little torch lighter. Makes lighting the fire easy. But breakfast, good old unwashed shelf kept brown eggs from our chicken, good old bacon. So we're gonna get cooking here in a minute. Beautiful wives in a packing up the tent. I do believe, talked about this a little bit in other videos, but I still love this thing and the messes I make. Of course, now I got to clean up. Oh, I am too old for this stuff. But it did bring the little Stanley French press. This thing has been amazing. I'm not a coffee snob. By far.
but this just simplifies life. If you like coffee and you're lazy like me, I highly suggest one of these. Coffee, creamer, and sweetener because, well, I'm a diabetic, so no sugar for me. Gonna let that seep for a little bit, strain it out, and get creative because we forgot our coffee cups and all of our cooking utensils. So we're gonna try and make eggs with a fork. This should be interesting, but we're gonna do it anyway. And you can't camp without bacon, so. Those, that was the wife's rule. She's like, we're camping, we're getting bacon. And here I'm over here playing around the fire and she's over there doing all the work. Little trick I learned from Chrome at Van City Van Life is just cut the whole pack in half. Fits in the pan better. <coughs> Hope you all are planning your trips and getting out this year. Campgrounds are still booking up like mad, so I'm um, we're going to be doing a lot more of places like this, the forestry, some of the backcountry stuff. Um, I'm still having some major foot issues, so we won't be out doing any backpacking or hiking anytime soon, but uh, see lots of car camping in the near future. I am blessed with a beautiful wife who likes to camp probably as much or more than I do, so. We're gonna get out and enjoy a bunch of weather. I'm gonna try and get out when she can't. And see what we can make happen this year. So, bacon's gonna be cooking. I'm gonna make all that up. That's done. Um, I'll come back, we'll cook some eggs, and uh, me and the wife are gonna sit down and have some breakfast. So, as always seems to happen, I start cooking and the wife takes over because I wasn't doing it right. Which works for me because now I can film and she can cook and she's a lot better cook than I am. So kind of works out. Lover of all things nerdy, I had to show this thing off. I'm thinking about, I'll probably do a full review video on this just because I like this kind of stuff. But pick this up at our ro local Royal King and this is the nerdiest thing I've ever seen. Of course, it's your typical little, uh, as Steve Wallace would say, step two holder. But it also converts down to hold a can as one piece. You can use this as a decanter. Or the whole thing breaks down to what they call the rocket, which again, dropping stuff. It's just too silly for me not to enjoy. Two pieces in there. One piece in there. The bottom even comes off as a can opener and a bottle opener. And you've got your own little can holder that's just way too cool. But It is pretty out here. Be even prettier once the stuff starts greening out a little bit. But a little view from our campsite here. Got the fire pits here. This side had two picnic tables. We got my beautiful wife over there uh, who took over cooking duties. And her personal tent, she loves this thing. I think it's too big, but it gets the job done. Wasn't the warmest thing to be in last night, but sleeping bags, just a couple Coleman 20 degree bags did good to keep us warm, but thought I'd show you the spot we're in. Um, after breakfast when we pack up, we're going to drive around all the campgrounds and uh, show you some of the other spots. And haven't seen many videos out here at Morgan Monroe, so it would be a good spot to put up some video. 
like I said earlier, we're using the wife's tent tonight. So if you guys want to see a review on this thing, let me know and I'll, I'll get one put together. We've had it for, oh, a little over a year now, I think. Used it quite a bit. Um, we had the pop-up we used for a while, but um, it has been a pretty good little tent. I don't know if uh, with this camera angle if you can really see in it that well or not. See if I can kind of show you around here a little bit. But fairly easy to set up. Massive on the inside. Um, that's a queen size air mattress deflated there. That uh, didn't work out so well, but it does a pretty good job. It's a all mesh roof with rain fly, um, so you can't see out of it. But again, if uh, you guys want to see a review of this uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll get it set up and do a time lapse of taking it up taking it down all that stuff and show it to you uh, probably ordering myself a new tent here soon I'm getting some new gear shifting from uh, the pop-up life to back to tent camping and uh, probably going to try and do a little overlanding in the Hoosier National Forest um, I've got a big old beat up Cadillac Escalade that we're going to uh, set up as a little makeshift overland vehicle probably be doing a pole out kitchen and stuff in it and have videos all that so lots to come this year it's going to happen breakfast is served we're going to eat probably pack up camp here in a bit and uh, come back showing you some campgrounds see you in a little bit Good time camping and we're off for a little drive now. This is I think the Oak Ridge Campground what it's called. Got beautiful wife driving and we're just gonna record and check the place out. Had another camper show up late last night it was just us us two out here all night long. I think there's 10 sites back here, so it's everything but big. Roads are a little rough back here, but I'm trying to fly the camera on a gimbal so it's a little smoother and doesn't make you nauseous. Come out of this campground and take a left, and uh, you end up at the uh, the main family campground. That's where we're headed next. Got a little picnic area here to the right that I've always enjoyed. I don't know if you can see that or not. We might stop there and have lunch before we head home. You can see part of it here. This is the uh, beginning of the family campground. Let's see if I can get this in view here. Uh, they did close down the fire tower. You can't climb it anymore. You used to be able to. And there's the playground. And we're going to spin you around here and take a ride through the family campground. Careful, babe.
This is the Mason Ridge campground. Got a few campers out on this side today. Like I said, this is the uh, family campgrounds. It's 12 or $13 a night to camp here. I guess 13 a night. Uh, they're not doing reservations right now. Matter of fact, the office isn't even open, so you have to bring exact change. We didn't, so we're actually mailing it in. This guy's got a nice little setup here. Makes me miss my pop-up already. Coming back out the other way now. Take a right up here and show them this other loop. <coughs> Pretty decent little camping spots here. Something you don't get in most. You've got some grassy spots and things like that that are nice. Of course, nothing's grassy right now. Got lots of hiking and biking trails. Uh, there's a youth campground back that way. Keep going. That road we just passed goes down to a Cherry Lake. Probably take you around to show you it too. Here's the new uh, new camp offices where you register to camp. Um, I think they may even have a lodge in here now. They do sell firewood for I think five dollars a cartload. So when the office is open this early in the year, it's not. just past the office and you can uh, take the next road the radio shop road back there leads to Cherry Lake but this is the main entrance here takes you to Three Lakes Trail there are three lakes in the Morgan Monroe there's a uh, Bryant's Creek Cherry Lake and I think there's actually only two now I think they drained one the dam broke years ago if I remember right I think that's Bryant's Creek Lake <coughs> There's a, lots of good trails and hiking out here. Come out the side window here and see if I can show you the lake. That there is Cherry Lake. What you can see of it from here anyway. Pretty good fishing there. I've uh, fished there many, many, many times. Well, folks, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll shut you off here. If I see anything else interesting, I'll turn the camera back on.